Sorry, Bob. I just want to first start. Um, why do you want to run for uh, mayor in the city of Scranton? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I want to run for mayor in the city, born and raised in this city, Scranton's my home. This is our city, and I don't like the way anything's been going on here for years. We don't need to sit here and play games anymore with the people of this city and use them as pawns like Joe Biden did and everything else that's going on and taken from the people in this city to cover all the mistakes of the leadership we have here. When Cognetti took office here, the first thing she should have did, and she knows better than having an MBA from Harvard, she should have did a forensic audit first day in office, find out where all the skeletons are buried in this city, and then make the proper decisions and not take it out on the people. Right now, we presently have a lawsuit against Geisinger and the Nayog Park Recreation Authority for the, all the cars that are parked up in Nayog by Geisinger. There's over, I think, something 280 cars or whatever they got parked up there now, and they want to pay 100000 a year. Cognetti refused to get involved. Bill Gahan, of course, all his mouth does run in city council, refused to get involved to terminate the Nayog Park Recreation Authority and get rid of all these authorities, put them under one umbrella. They could be bringing in over seven, eight hundred thousand a year is what I want from Geisinger for parking all those cars. If you notice around here, you park a car, what it costs you for an hour. $2 every hour and you're parking all those cars up there. It's an absurdity and it's an insult to the people of the city of Scranton to say we'll take $100,000 a year. Yet they didn't have any problem with Cognetti and Gahan raising the taxes of over 500,000 on the people in the city. So those are the reasons. The garbage fee, they want to put it in your tax. Now it's a tax, it's not a fee. Will be eliminated if I become mayor in Scranton. There's no need. We paid for that already in our taxes. So why are we supplementing more money out of our pockets to the people? And this is the mismanagement that's gone here, and it continues. Uh, GPS that should have been in all the vehicles in the city years and years ago. They should be on natural gas, every vehicle here. We won't have the theft of fuel. We won't have all the issues we had. And we still have that. We haven't converted any trucks that I'm aware of or any vehicles in the city to natural gas. That's efficient, less maintenance costs, but they know nothing about mechanics. They know nothing about trucks. It's been my life doing all that. And I've run many, many businesses, both here and overseas. And with all the knowledge I have, Scranton will be a new home for the people in the city of Scranton not those that are pirating and making fools out of the people in the city by using them as pawns. And that's why I want to run for mayor. Do I need to be here for mayor? Absolutely not. I have interests all over the world. I don't need to do this, but in my heart, I want to because it's about the people. Remember, on Christmas Day, I feel you'd over 3,000 people. Last year, we did over 1,600 takeouts. And it's about my people in the city. It's about my city. Uh, not something like Joe Biden talks. I came from Scranton, but he's a Delawarean. And oh, but Biden's going, oh, he came through, he gave us money. Well, money went to everybody, not just the city of Scranton. So don't thank Joe Biden for the money. Thank him for the $3 a uh, gallon, or we're gonna go to $4 a gallon for gas and thousands of jobs that he lost and the issues we're having overseas. So thank Joe Biden when you go fill up your car tomorrow and see how fast that 60 some million dollars the city gets goes away, just an operating cost. So yeah, Bill Gahan, you know, pay attention what's going on. This is our city and you're only a minor part of it. Remember Gahan, the city council and the mayor, you work for us, we don't work for you. And that's why I'm here and it'll be an open door policy. Um, branching off all of that, um, why is this election, specifically because it's outside of this special election, whoever wins will be in power for the next four years. Correct. Why is this election, for people who vote, why is this election even more important than the special election? This is more important right now because it's about four years. It's about turning the city around, taking our people 
and turning it around so they have the benefits of what we're doing. That's why I want to eliminate the garbage fee, take on Guy Singer, the Nayog Park Recreation. I want to bring money into the city. There's so many things we could do here outside the city. Years ago, I wanted to start building flex buildings that the city could have bought property and built and bring in millions of dollars in here. We'll revamp the way the police, fire, and DPW worked. There's so much to do here that's not being done because it's about politics. I'm not about politics. I'm about being efficient, and efficiency is what the people of Scranton need. Branching off of that, why should the city or the residents in the city of Scranton vote for you this time around? Because this time they're getting leadership that's in their benefit, not the good old boy club. And that's the difference between myself and the good old boy club. I'm not for sale, you can't buy me, and you're sure in hell not gonna intimidate me. This is about my people in the city. And for the last 27 years, they all know that when they came to my dinner. I have to ask the question, just I know everybody in the city, in the outskirts, you will have a lot of property and this and that. And I guess you could say there's controversy and everything, and people have that in the back of their minds when they want to vote for you. Just tell me the difference between that and running for mayor. Look, we have issues with property taxes with the county right now, and we're dealing with it because of the adjustment that uh, has been taking place here, and that'll come out in the present. It's not for today's discussion, but it's there. I didn't run away from Scranton. I could be at one of my homes in Florida. I don't have to stand here and do this and put up a criticism from those who are petrified that if Bob Wallace becomes mayor's, what the hell's gonna happen to the good old boy club? And that's the difference between myself and any other candidate that's running. I'm about Scranton, I'm about my people. The one thing that I've asked every candidate is just personally, who is Bob Bolas? I didn't ask the other candidates who Bob Bolas is, just who, that, who you are, who uh, is Bob Bolas? Years ago, when I ran for Congress, I have tractor trailers running all over the place that, who is Bob Bolas? And to this day, people still bring that up to me. Who's Bob Bolas? He's a Scranton born resident, stayed in Scranton, operates companies throughout the region, employs people throughout the region. And Bob Bolas is about Scranton, and he's about everyone that's watching this tonight that lives in Scranton. The only real choice you have for the future, your future and your children's future, is you gotta vote for Bob Bolas because he's for you. He's not for all this going on in here. And this will change, believe me, big time. There'll be a lot of changes. There'll be consolidations, uh, buildings, things like that. There'll be true efficiency in the city of Scranton. And those are tax dollars that'll go into the taxpayer's pocket, not the good old boy club. I'm just asking for people to come out. It's a primary election uh, and vote. We'll see what happens when we get down the road with the issues that are being raised, whether I could take the seat or not. There's a lot of legal things that we've filed already that uh, should clear up everything by November. And uh, right now it's about the primary, nothing else. Just vote in your primary. The future will take care of itself. Thank you.